Have you ever wondered what happens when ancient martial arts meet the modern cage? What if a Kung Fu master stepped into the ring with an MMA fighter? Can traditional techniques withstand the raw power and versatility of mixed martial arts? There are countless martial arts in the world, each with its own philosophy, discipline and techniques. Some of these have found their way into the high-octane sport of MMA. But what happens when a traditional Kung Fu master faces off against an MMA fighter? This is Trending Facts TV. Today, we dive into some of the most thrilling and unexpected clashes between Kung Fu masters and MMA fighters. First, we travel to a moment where a Tai Chi Kung Fu master was humiliated by an MMA fighter. As soon as the referee started the match, the MMA fighter landed two swift punches to the master's face, causing him to fall immediately and be declared defeated. The crowd was stunned as the Kung Fu master, revered for his supposed invincibility, was brought down in mere seconds. This moment echoed in another similar scenario where another Kung Fu master, faced with the aggression of an MMA fighter, retreated behind the referee after being struck just once at the start of the match. Next, we head to the heart of Vietnam where a fierce battle unfolded between MMA trainer Nam Phong and Kung Fu master Kit Tran. This was not just any fight, it was a contest to determine the ultimate champion between MMA and Kung Fu. Master Tran, brimming with confidence and rich legacy of Kung Fu, entered the MMA arena ready to prove his superiority. Initially, Nam Phong dominated with his sharp, precise striking, catching Tran off guard. The crowd watched in anticipation as the MMA fighters' relentless attacks seemed to overpower the Kung Fu master. However, as the fight progressed, signs of fatigue and hesitation began to show in Nam Phong, creating an opening for Master Tran. Tran capitalized on this using his fluid and strategic Kung Fu techniques. Yet, in the final moments, Nam Phong dug deep, regained his focus, and managed to dominate once more, leading to Tran's overwhelming defeat. In China, another thrilling fight took place between Kung Fu master Dinga and Muay Thai fighter Ao. Dinga, towering at 180cm and weighing 72kg, had a clear physical advantage over Ao. The battle was intense from the start. As soon as the first round bell rang, Dinga showcased his incredible hand speed, launching a flurry of punches. Meanwhile, Ao, with the power and precision typical of Muay Thai, countered with terrifying combinations of hand and foot strikes. Their close-range combat was fierce, with Dinga defending against Muay Thai knees and countering with agile hand movements. The energy in the arena was palpable as each strike echoed through the crowd. The fight concluded dramatically with less than two minutes remaining in the first round. Ao delivered an unexpected and devastating head kick, leaving the unprepared Wing Chun master on the canvas and the crowd erupted in disbelief. Following this, Ao faced another formidable opponent, Tai Chi Kung Fu master Song Diai. The board began with Song Song displaying his skill with a Bruce Lee style jump kick. However, Song miscalculated and fell, giving Ao a golden opportunity to attack. Ao, relentless and strategic, threw a series of leg and spinning kicks before hitting Song with powerful punches. Despite Song's attempts to push Ao away, he was cornered and subjected to a barrage of strikes. Each punch and kick seemed to drain the spirit of the Kung Fu master, leading to his inevitable defeat as he crumbled upon the relentless assault. In a different arena, we witnessed the real-life application of the drunken master style made famous by Jackie Chan. A Kung Fu master employing this unpredictable style faced an MMA fighter in freestyle fighting arena. The Kung Fu master staggered with seemingly random movements, embodying the essence of the drunken master move. Yet, this erratic movements marked deadly precision. Occasionally, he would launch attacks that caught his opponent off guard, making the MMA fighter struggle to find an opening. 
The fight was a dance of deception and sudden strikes. The MMA fighter, sensing an opportunity, suddenly unleashed a brutal series of attacks, sending the Kung Fu master to the canvas. Both fighters were knocked down several times in this five-minute duel, but in the end, the drunken master could no longer continue after taking a hard punch to the face. Finally, we come to perhaps the strangest MMA fight in history. A 2.2-meter tall South Korean MMA fighter Hong Men Choi faced off against a 1.7 meter tall Chinese Shaolin Kung Fu master Yong. The size difference was astounding with Choi towering over Yong. Yet despite this significant advantage, Yong displayed remarkable courage and strength. The fight began with Yong fearlessly leading the charge, evading Choi's powerful attacks with agility and precision. Yong's impressive counter-attacks showcased the strength and technique of Shaolin Kung Fu. However, the fight came to an abrupt and controversial end when Choi took an accidental kick to the groin. The Korean giant, unable to continue, had to forfeit the match, leading to Young's unexpected victory. This fight reminded everyone that size and strength are not the only factors in martial arts. Skill, speed, and strategy can turn the side. These encounters between traditional Kung Fu masters and modern MMA fighters are not just fights. They are a clash of philosophies, techniques, and eras. They show Show us that in the world of martial arts, unpredictability and adaptability are just as important as strength and skill. In life, size and strength often seem to dominate, but it's the courage, skill, and heart that truly determine the outcome. Just like the fighters, who dared to face seemingly insurmountable odds, we too must harness our inner strength and face our challenges head on. Remember, true victory comes from within and it's the spirit of perseverance and resilience that leads us to triumph. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.